I'm going to show you how to set up a new printer on CodeSoft using CodeSoft's proprietary printer drivers. This way you don't have to use a Windows based driver. For this example, I'm using a Zebra printer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the printer option and this lets me identify what kind of printer I'm using. If I go to add, I have a whole bunch of different brands of printers. I'm gonna scroll down until I find Zebra, and I'm gonna click the right arrow, and now I have all of Zebra's different models. Today we're using a Zebra ZE500 printer, so I'm gonna scroll down until I find the Zebra ZE500, which is gonna be all the way down at the bottom because it's in alphabetical order. Now here you can see I'm coming across different ZE500 printers and there's some configurations behind it. Specifically, what we're using today is a Zebra ZE500 four inch left hand 300 DPI printer. Once I select it, I'm using a IP address or ethernet to communicate from my PC to my printer. I'm just gonna assign the appropriate IP address that I've already put into my printer. So I'm gonna go to TCP IP and I'm gonna type in 192.168.10 and the last ones are 96. Now, if you're looking in your Zebra printer, it's actually going to read 192.168.010096. CodeSoft and a lot of different softwares and CMD don't like leading zeros, so I leave them out. Once I typed in the appropriate IP address, I can test my connection by clicking this button. And it's telling me I am communicating and I've established the connection successfully. I hit OK, OK. And then from there, again, okay. I have now got my Zebra printer connected utilizing their or CodeSoft's driver. Again, I click okay. Now, if I were to go to the print dialog box here, I've got Zebra Z500, four inch left hand, 300 DPI, 192.168.1096. And it's telling me I'm out of paper. That is because I am in fact out of paper, but we've established communication the uh, CodeSoft driver.